Okay. Nice. Video's done. Ugh. Nothing to do now but go get more footage. Man. Got a lot of miles on those things. They've definitely, uh, <laughs> they've walked one or two miles as my shoes. But I guess we're going to keep going until the soles fall out. Excuse me? Can I help you? I think the better question is, can I help you? You seem to be in need of a new pair of shoes. And I would like to make a little bit of a proposition with you. If you can go out and bring back footage that truly impresses me, well then I will make a promise to put new shoes on your feet. Bro, what are you... You're the Riddler? Or some shit like that? Dude, what is happening right now? You know what? Fine. You're on. You may be the Riddler, but I think a lot of people forget I'm the Ringmaster. And I guarantee you, I'm going out skating right now. I guarantee you, I can bring back footage that's going to blow that little smirk right off your face, my guy. The Riddler. <laughs> okay. Someone's got jokes, huh? Well, it appears... My challenge has been accepted. Good luck out there, sea pals. Y'all, what is my life? I get ready to go out skating and there's some dude sitting in my stairwell. I think it was a dude. I don't know what that thing was, but he wants footage that's going to impress him. Homie doesn't know who he just challenged. I'm about to do, yet again, the best skating I've done all year.
Oh, it looks like you've done it. It's been a long time since anybody impressed me. Whoa! I guess that weird Cheshire cat dude wasn't lying. Your boy got new kicks. Well guys, I beat that creepy Cheshire cat dude's challenge and he was true to his word and he hooked it up. At this point in the video, I would like to say that this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. But if anyone from Stray is out there and would like to sponsor me, I would be hyped. These are going to look pretty familiar. These are the Logan model in the color red. And yep, they are... The exact same shoes that I've been skating for over a year now. And in terms of functionality, these are some of the best shoes I've ever skated. And it kind of surprises even me to say that. But they're affordable. They're... A little bit above half price of most, I would say, regular skate shoes. They're half price or a little bit under half price from the more um, high-end skate shoes. But they function really, really well. Um, you can see it's a, it's a pretty simple design i mean there's not a lot of craziness going on with it but i like that i like simple simple but effective and what makes these very effective you can see the toe cap here now it's not a full toe cap like converse would have but it does roll over this lip and they also have this, I call this a kickflip guard. I don't know if they have like a proprietary name for it, but I've been calling it the kickflip guard. And I'm actually just going to show you here. That is right where I wear my shoes away the most. So every pair of skate shoes I've ever had has gotten a hole somewhere between here and about here that's just the part of my foot i use when i'm skating that's where it wears away that's where it's going to rub holes in and as you can see i have taken a chunk of the kickflip guard off but there is no holes in the side of this shoe they are the way they're shaped, you can see it kind of it kind of bulges and kind of comes in around here, which gives me really really great ankle support. Um, and they're not high tops. I've never been a fan of skating in high tops, but I also have feeble, weak baby calf ankles from about. 20 years of rolling my ankle almost consistently so they do su provide enough ankle support that I feel I feel safe I don't feel like I'm constantly going to roll my ankle but I also don't have to wear high tops and be uncomfortable and they're also flexible enough that you know, they're comfy to wear, 
but they're rigid enough that they really hold your foot in place so that your foot's not like slipping out and bending at weird ankles inside of there, which is where, at least for me, a lot of my foot injuries has come from. It's been a lot of like hyperextended arches and sprained toes. Again, these do a very, very good job at preventing that. Now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Oh, you can see it pretty good, actually. Um, they have a, a pretty cushy insole. But again, it's a great blend of being soft and comfortable to walk around in yet being rigid enough to disperse the energy from when you're jumping down things. I've had, I've had both of the other ends of that. I've had insoles that are so soft. Yeah, they're comfy, but they also give you virtually no protection from impact. And I've had soles that are so hard that yeah, they protect your foot from hitting the concrete, but it also feels like you're walking around on a plank of wood all day. So again, a very nice, happy medium in terms of functionality and comfort when you're skating, which are both very important. Now, I will say, if I were to criticize some things with these... Um, this is not my favorite, how for some reason these, like, flames aren't sewn all the way in. Uh, you can see here on my, uh, on my old shoe how they kind of tear and come off and I just, I don't really understand that choice. Especially, clearly, being a shoe that's made to skate. Um, I would also say they are a little bit... I feel like they're trying a little bit harder to be more fashionable. Um, they have these things that you can like flip up. Or flip back, which again, I'm, I don't fully understand why you would do that. Um, but if that's really all I got to complain about, and I can sit here and praise how well they feel and function when I'm skating, then the pros far, far outweigh the cons. So I think that's it, guys. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show you I got some new kicks and show you why I got them and talk a little bit about my choice in terms of what I look for in a skate shoe and what works for me. That doesn't mean it's going to work for you. That doesn't mean it's going to end up being what you look for in a skate shoe. But for me, these are kind of the shoes I've been looking for my whole life. Which is weird to say, because I've always been diehard Vans or Nikes, Fallens back in the day. Um, I've rode my fair share of Etnies, but typically... Vans or Nikes, but I mean, these came along, they're about half the price of Vans or Nikes, and I gotta be honest, they've held up better than most of the pairs of Vans and Nikes I've had, so, I mean, you can't argue with results, but I appreciate you guys for watching this video, I hope you guys had fun with the little skit I did. I want to start doing more stuff like that as well. And as always, I appreciate the shit out of all of you guys. And until the next one, peace out, Carney Army.